And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. The most snow we saw in December was back in 2008, where we had 45.6 inches of snowfall. Some of the closer years back in 2013, we had 26.4 inches of snow on the ground and we had quite a bit of it over the last couple of days and really made an impact across the Badger State and the Midwest in general. It was just on Christmas when most of this area pretty much in the southern part of the screen didn't see any snow whatsoever. And we've got more snow on the way as we head into the beginning of the new year. Above average chance of precipitation anticipated. So get ready to do a little bit more shoveling. Today, it didn't look like any snow was on the way. Beautiful day after some snow yesterday into this morning. It was lots of blue skies. Eventually, some high-level clouds worked their way in from the west, and that's from a system down to the south that's bringing in some light snow showers. An area of low pressure well down to the south and even causing some severe weather over the Dixie south. But for us, we're pretty quiet with an area of high pressure trying to stick around here. It's not that strong, so we still have some cloud cover to contend with. There's a snowfall down to the south in Iowa, northern Illinois, slowly sweeping off to the east and northeast. We're too far north from it, so we're not going to be seeing any of that, but can't rule out a few perhaps possible flurries overnight with the cloudy skies sticking around. And you see a little specks here and there going into the morning hours tomorrow. A few light snow showers, maybe a few flurries. Overall, not a big deal. And the same thing will stick around here as we head into our Friday as well for New Year's Eve. A few flurries being popped up on Skycast, but really we're not going to be dealing with anything significant. What we will be monitoring, though, is on New Year's Day, we've got a system that's going to move in from the south and bring in some additional snowfall. And it looks like right now the heavy snow accumulation will be occurring along and south of Milwaukee down towards uh, northern Illinois on New Year's Day on Saturday, but still the snow will be extending to about the Highway 29 corridor and then moving southward. This is what one of the computer models is showing in terms of accumulations. You see how we just just get a couple inches of snow across northeast Wisconsin, but it's farther southward where they could be talking about close to half or even exceeding a half foot of snow out of the storm. As for right now, temperatures are starting to get a little chilly out there. Down to 13 in Anago, we've got 16 in Mountain, 16 in Clintonville, 15 in Wapaka, 13 in Watoma, and 19 in Oshkosh. Our temperatures tonight will be dropping down into right around 12 degrees. It is going to be a cold one out there with mostly cloudy skies. There will be a chance of a few flurries out there. And then for tomorrow, we'll get up to about 28. We'll have mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out the chance of a few additional flurries as well with southeast winds at about five miles per hour. Seven day forecasts Friday 31. We'll have a chance of a few flurries once again. Then on Saturday, we'll have some light snow showers, but farther southward of the, the southern Fox Valley, that's where we could be dealing with several inches of snow on Sunday. High temperature of 13, but then as you're heading to the Packers game, it's going to be a lot colder than that down into the single digits with wind chills between negative 5 to negative 15. We'll start to warm things up, though, as we get into next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, getting to about 30, 32. So a little cold snap and then we'll rebound a little bit. And uh, the frozen tundra ready to go. Sure is. All right, Gino, thanks so much. Well, coming up next here, a